What's up YouTube? PJ back with another video for y'all and today we're gonna be having another Miata video. It's been a while since I actually showed y'all Miata but look at the top. The top is still looking good. I drove it around quite a few times even though, sorry Louisiana, but I do not have y'all's uh, inspection sticker right here because of this thing. I wanted to get this big crack filled or fixed or get a whole new windshield before I got an inspection sticker and I just never came around to doing that yet and I want to get the car painted and just a lot of other things I want to do with this car but in the meantime I need to take this car out for a drive real quick because we have something to install today I don't know if y'all remember but uh oh yeah and the top look at this I'm pulling on it but it's getting stuck right here on the glass I don't know how to fix that so I just pull it a little bit harder and it comes out but I don't know if y'all remember this or I've seen the video, but I need to be replacing this shifter because it's kind of loose. And I have the short shifter kit from Cobalt that I'm going to be installing. But let me quit rambling on and on because I just told y'all I need to be driving a car so I can warm up the oil inside of the shifter and then with, with install. Alright, don't talk about me because I don't have any door cards on the car. But I do have my door cards. They came in. I just haven't put them on yet because I'm going to be wanting to. Alright, start it. <laughs> I'm going to be wanting to change out my speakers because these speakers are blown and both doors. But as you can see, I have a check engine light and it's not too bad just because it does say it's a vacuum leak. I forgot the actual code. But it said it doesn't affect the drivability of the vehicle, so I'm not too worried about that. But let me get on this road for about a good five minutes because I have to be at work in like the next hour. So this is going to be a quick video. Alright, so I just made it back to the house and I have both the doors open because I was not going to try to take this top off. Just because I had so much trouble putting this top on because of how stiff the new material was. I even had to get Kiara to get on top of here some kind of way. Not fully on top, but she did get on top of here. While I tried to pull this down and latch it all down and that was a pain and I did not want to go through that again. So I was just gonna let it stay on there for a couple months or so, but looks like I'm about to take it back off right now. And hopefully that's not such of a pain like it was, but <sighs> I guess I'm about to see. That actually came off quite nicely. Uh, I don't think it's going to be such of a pain like it was. It has stretched out quite a bit. I can tell by the way it, it easily just unlatched from here and it barely moved. But now it's time for me to take off this center console because that's step number one. Hopefully I don't have to vacuum under it, which I know I probably would. But hey, step number one. Alright, so got that taken care of. And if you're anything like me, this is going to be a lot more dirty than it should be. And uh, it's going to be kind of tough to get off of there. And you're going to have to vacuum up a lot of unnecessariness that uh, will be stored under here. But on to the next thing. I'm going to be taking off these four 10 millimeter bolts right here in the four corners for this shift boot thing. And uh, I think it's the sound deadening for it. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take that off and then you're gonna need some wire cutters or some type of snips or something to get these little white rings from around the neck of it so you'll be able to pull it up.
Then there should be three more 10 millimeter bolts um, on this little plate right here. You should take those off next. All right, so literally this is the next day because I did not make it in time for work because of this shifter. And so I, uh, I just put everything back up for the night and then started back the next day. So, hey, it's the next day. But this is where I am so far. I took the shifter off. Like I told you, once you take these three nuts out of here, or the three bolts, should I say, then the shifter literally just gently pries up. And there is shifter oil in here. So what I'm about to do now is actually replace this. And what I have is this little siphon pump that I got for like a dollar or two from AutoZone. I'm just gonna stick this in here, siphon some of this up, put it in the cup, and just keep doing that until it's empty. All right, so this is about how much I got out of here. Y'all probably can't tell by like me just showing you this, but it's like not that much. I could say it's like half a cup or whatever. However much they say they're supposed to, you can find it up on the internet. But man, this stuff. Mm. Doesn't smell too hot. But uh, at least it's not as bad as my supercharger fluid on my Mustang. That stuff smells like vomit. This just smells like, I don't know, slightly used gear oil. But, hey, time me to put more in it. Oh yeah, and showing y'all this. This was supposed to be a little bushing that's supposed to be on the end of here. And yeah, this was in like a lot of bad shape. But I bought another one and I'm gonna show y'all just how that looks on the new shifter. And now the new shifter should go right in. Hopefully. Did I overfill this thing? Hope I didn't. Next, this little white washer and the little spring washer, I believe. Go right on top, on top of this bar. Like so. Then they're gonna supply you with a new inner shifter boot that goes right over the top. And as you can see, you just slide it over and line the three bolts up like so. And then install the three bolts. Slide this little black piece over the top till it stops right here. Yeah, so hopefully y'all's dust boot is in a little bit better shape than mine. I might need to get another one one day. But as of now, I'm not worried about this. But this goes back on next. All right, so majority of y'all, once y'all get this back on, y'all will probably have some of the zip tie on top of here, like the rest of the boot. But yeah, I don't have that, so I gotta skip that step. Next thing, put the sound deadening material back around here. All right, look at this. It's not moving like it was before. I am very stoked about that. Now, Okay, only things left to do now is to go drive it. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, and oh yeah, not sixth. Reverse lockout. It goes to reverse though, it goes to reverse. But reverse lockout, so you can't go from fifth on power shipping to sixth because it locks it out, but there's sixth. I like this. I like it, it doesn't move anymore. That was a successful install. Doesn't usually happen like that if you're true to the channel and have been around for a while, you know it doesn't usually go like that. But, time to go drive it. Immediately, the first thing I noticed, y'all, I know y'all can't see right now, but immediately the first thing I noticed, first gear, you barely have to travel anywhere for it as far as left and right. And uh, I have to ride with my brights on because these lights need to be clean. But we're going this way. Okay, gears are easy to feel. In my 
opinion anyway, it's that easy to feel. But I think this is a success. I'm gonna just keep driving it around for now and then I'll catch up with y'all when I make it back home. Alright, so just made it back in with the Miata. And it's driving pretty nicely if you ask me. Um, I did think that I overfilled the reservoir for the oil, the shifter oil, a little bit too much. So it's smoking a little bit. That's, that's because the oil is running over each time I shift. But eventually it's going to run down enough to where it's not going to be running over anymore. But the next thing I have planned for the Miata will be to get the door cars on after I put the speakers in and change out the radio head unit. So we'll be looking forward to that video. But like I said, this is just about going to wrap up today's video. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share this video with anybody who has a Miata and they could teach me some stuff about it. And or if they're looking to do something as simple as an install as this, then hopefully it'll help them out. Comment down in the section below and let me know any events that are going on in the South that I could bring them Miata too because like I said this will be an autocross build and I do want to go to some type of events to uh, you know see how I can drive this thing before I get some wheels and tires suspension and the whole nine yards on the thing yeah that's pretty much all I have for today's video so always remember to do more be more believe more and achieve more and I thank you all for watching